that dreaded year 2020 and I'm having a ridiculous day. I um, have forgotten everything. It's just all gone wrong. However, if you look behind me, I'm not in a bad place. But I've just spotted something. Something that I never see. Other people see them, but I never do. And I'm just going to go and show you what I found. Oh, I love it. So, at this point, I think I'll tell you about what I'm going to do with the channel. See if he moves. I'm going to basically divide the channel into four. I'm going to have my wildcard ones, which is two minute short films linked to my greetings card. I'm then going to have my main photography section, which will be looking at, you know, various aspects of wildlife and landscape photography. And then for next year, for 2021, which has got to be better than 2020, I'm going to add a new section, which will be a year in the wild. So I'm going to basically once a month do a, a video diary featuring some of the wildlife that I come across during that time. Oh, he's bored. So as part of that, I'll be covering some things like black grouse each month, probably red squirrels each month. Oh, you beautiful creature. And what it's like living in the wilds of Scotland. Oh, this is just brilliant. I love it. Then a fourth playlist on my channel, I'm giving over to my kids so that they can show you their little project. My boys are Lego masters and stop motion masters. Well, I'm biased, I'm the dad. Oh, look at this. So I'm going to divide it into four. It'll be a bit varied, but I'll make sure each of them are obvious which type of video it is. I can't believe this. Look at you, look at that red, look at that red belly. Oh, this is fabulous. That's great. That's part of the reason I've decided to add this new sort of more wildlife focused part to my channel, which will be effectively a diary of what I see each month. So I'll keep going back to some of the same creatures, but I'll be able to sort of report what they're doing at different times of the year. So things like the geese, things like black grouse, I'll probably include black grouse regularly because you know they're they're already lacking it's november they're lacking in small numbers i was there yesterday morning so i'll cover things like this and just general bits of wildlife i spot with my kids and put it together as a, a sort of a, a monthly monthly project um partly for me partly for when i'm older so i can look back at some of the things i've done you know it's but also I think it may be interesting to some people to sort of have a look and see, you know, what's out there, what you can see at different times of the year.